first question is, why use chord tones for improvisation? And the answer is really quite simple. It's because chord tones always sound good. As long as you come up with a progression that's a pretty strong progression, and a progression that sounds nice, then any of the chord tones are always going to work. So whenever you're looking for notes that are going to sound good during improvisation, just use chord tones. But there are some, uh, there are some tricks that we're going to talk about later, like adding tensions, right, and then passing chords that make it sound better than just, you know, playing three notes of a triad over and over and over again, okay? Um, so w when, you want to, uh, w when you want to sit down and improvise and you're, and you're taking a look at a piece of music or, you know, let's say you have a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord, always start first. Like, if, if you look at that and, and you're thinking, wow, how do I begin to improvise over that? Just start by using just your chord tones. So you want to really get to know those chord tones very well. Now that's a very simple example. I just played the roots in the left hand, okay, um, and I just did simple chord, uh, simple uh, notes in the right hand, just the notes from the triad. Now, as far as which rhythm did I use? Well, I can come up with any rhythm that I want to. Um, so. Also, move up to other octaves as well. Right, sounds almost uh, kind of Latin-ish. Um, so anyway, that's the that's the, the first thing that you, you got to um, kind of grapple and get under your belt is is to understand that when you're improvising, chord tones are always going to sound good. So if you need a place to start, that's what I would suggest you do: is start with chord tones first. Like I said, that was pretty, you know, those are some simple examples. We're going to branch out into some, some stuff that's uh, much more complicated than that as we go along. So I'll see you in the uh, next chapter.